Good morning, everyone. How are you this morning? Happy Saturday to you. Thanks for joining me for another wonderful live stream. It's a beautiful day. It's a great day for a live stream. So glad I get the, a chance to share the magic with you. It really means a lot that you spend some time with me on Saturday. I, I can't tell you how much it means to me. Let's say hi to a few of our friends. And I've rewatched some of my live streams. I want to slow myself down a little bit. I have, a te as you know, a tendency to talk too fast. So slowing it down. Good morning, Brad, from the Magic Kingdom. Brad, I saw your pictures on My Disney Family, the Facebook group. That run looks amazing. I'm glad you're recovering. Adam, good morning from sunny England. Hey there. E-Man, good to see you. See, I remember it, E-Man. I remember this time. Fabio, good to see you this morning. Drew, Cindy, Alexis, Quinton, Boo, Linda, Kim. Happy Saturday, Chelsea. Nicholas, Renee, good weekend to you. Candice, Alfredo, Joshua, David, good morning. Michelle, uh, Dylan, Magical News, Renee, Amy, Candice, Lauren and Mark from New York. Hi there. Yes, getting my tea, arranging the lights. Yeah, you know how it is, uh, Candice. Hi from Orlando. Hi, Julie. David, good morning. Uh, Disney Nerd, uh, Joshua, Gabrielle, good morning. Steven, Kyle, New England Sweet Life. Buenos dias. Oh, you, so you, so the, you like this, the, por uh, favor manténganse alejado de las puertas. You, you like that, right? That's, that's, that's memory. That is not Michael knowing how to speak Spanish. Uh, by <laughs> Binding, David, uh, Brooklyn, I think it's Brooklyn, Anastasia, Nathan, Guy, Amber, Dawn, Creative Soul. I like that name. Good one. Jennifer, Kelly. SP, uh, Darlene, Joshua, Monica, Shari, Jennifer, Scar, Ernie, Cindy, Lab Monkey, Joshua, Holly. Good morning. Um, good job. I'm glad, I'm glad I remembered your name. Good morning. Sarah, S Samantha, uh, Mercio. I think I have that right. The cre uh, and I've gotten everyone else. George and Heather. Good morning to everyone. Thanks for being a part of it again. It means a great deal. How's everybody this morning? Let's do another um, question. Where are you from? I, you know, we haven't done that in a while. I want to see where our great Disney family is from. Um, you talking about uh, Montaigne and Say Alejado de los Universal? No, I don't think so. No, no, no. Uh, good morning. I had to remember. I had a reminder on, and it did not remind me. Uh-oh. Jennifer, uh-oh. I'm not sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> so sorry that it didn't happen. Um, try refreshing. Maybe it'll remind you in the future. Mm. Hi from Gulf of Mexico. Are you working offshore? That's a unique spot. From Turn Matthew. Hey, Matthew. Did you know that Animal Kingdom 20th anniversary, they made green and purple brown banshees? I saw that. Pegasus was jealous. I, I can't look at any other banshees or Pegasus gets really jealous. Arizona, Brooklyn, Indiana, Nebraska, New Jersey, Florida. Hey, Scar, Indiana. New York, Massachusetts, New Jersey, near Pennsylvania, Louisiana, sunny Mobile, Alabama. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday, Cynthia. Um, I think it's Cynthia. Uh, love your mug. Oh, thank you. Sing Oklahoma. Pennsylvania, New York City, New Jersey, St. Paul, Minnesota, Delaware, New York, Walt Disney World tomorrow. Great, uh, yeah, have fun with that. Nova Scotia, wow, wow, that's far. Baltimore, Michigan, uh, Alabama, three hours away from home. Florida, not a bad spot. Memphis, Massachusetts, Milwaukee, Chicago, Georgia, New Mexico, New Jersey, Fort Lauderdale. From Mexico, Ma Western Massachusetts, New Jersey, Vermont, New Hampshire, uh, South Carolina. We have some great family members in all over, all over the country and all over the world. Kentucky. I think it's Nebraska. Nebraska. Uh, you get another Kentucky, Chicago. It's it's so great to have you here all from all over. It really means a lot that you spend some of your day with me. So there was a lot of news. There was a lot of news this past week that I want to go over with you. Oh, wait, we have a few more. Miami, Canada, Connecticut, Texas, Virginia, the UK, Ma Manchester. All right, we have a couple from the UK. Did you know that Disney sells Dasani water? Right. No, I, I do know that they sell Dasani water, so it's a, it's a great one. Anyway, let's talk about that news. The biggest one that I know I want to talk about, I I want to talk about this, the Disney Parks Play app. Did you see that video? If not, it's at the I button in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. I, um, Magical News is a triple countdown. June, August, November. Wow, that's amazing. Memphis, Howard County. Anyway, it's, uh, great, great to see you. San Paulo, wow, San Paulo, good to see you. Um, so this Disney Parks Play app, there are so many things that I, I you could tell my imagination was flying with this video. I was thinking about what they could do, what could be coming. Is this just for in line? Is this like, is this a new adventure? And and then on top of this, and a lot of my friends who actually live in Florida reach out to me and they're saying to my, they're saying to me, Michael, this could be for people who go to Florida or who go to Walt Disney World, you know, very often, like people who live in the area. 
And to me, that, that adds a whole nother perspective to it. Disney could make this into a long-term adventure. And you think about uh, Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom, that's a long-term adventure too. How is Disney going to utilize this? Is it going to be a long-term game? Like over time, like you're going to gain points and you'll be like level 100 and everybody else can be level 2. And you're like, oh, you know, I'm the super sorcerer of the Magic Kingdom. You know what I mean? Like there are so many different directions that Disney could go with this. My, my mind is all over the place. Let me know what you think and what you're excited about and what you think this could be. Do you think it's as in-depth as I'm thinking about or could it just be like something super simple and I'm blowing this out of proportion and it's not, you know, as, as big as I'm thinking it could be? Let me know what your thoughts are. I want to I hear your thoughts. But that, that perspective of someone, it could you, this could be over time, over many years, you could develop like a character or an avatar or a, I'm going to say Pokemon for the, for the you know, sake of continuity. Um... What could it be? I have no idea. I'm excited to see what they bring about this summer. So I, I have a feeling that I'll be able to play this game on our next adventure. We'll see. I'll let you know. Uh, hey, Michael. Hey, Zach. I had an idea for the Play app. I think it's a test for tech that could be used in Galaxy's Edge. Paul, I think you left that comment, too, and I appreciate it. I've been falling behind on those comments. Forgive me. But um, I think you're absolutely right. This could be a test for something even greater, right? This could be, like, or stage one of something even greater. Like, this, this may not be, like... Some people think test and they're like, okay, it's not it's not permanent. This could be like a permanent thing, but also kind of like a beta test. You know what I mean? Like, okay, how well did it work in the Magic Kingdom? Let's continue to evolve it for Galaxy's Edge and other places. Exactly. Uh, Kentucky, Bluegrass State. Hey there. Hi, Michael. Love from Wales. Oh, wow. All over the all of the world. Good to see you. Good morning. A bit late. You're right on time. Working in the neighborhood garden. Taking a break to join in. Thanks so much, Craig. I appreciate it. Morning, Michael. Just checking in. Have a new, my new passport for more adventures. Shelly, have fun. Thomas, Michael, I know you told us what you think it might be in your video in this past week, but do you think it's like any other application game we could have on our phones? Right. And Thomas, I think it could be, um, but, you know, special for Disney. And Disney, you know, they you heard about the um, the expansion of the bus transportation, the express bus service, that you can now, you can now track the bus as it's coming on the My Disney Experience app, which I think is great. Why would Disney create a whole new app if it's something small, you know, that's my thought. Like if it was something minor, they would just use it in the My Disney Experience app. This is something totally new. This is this is a continuation of something. I think Disney Parks Play app could be similar to the Midship Detective Agency where people interact with the scenery. I have a feeling that could be it too. Sarah, that's what I was thinking. Disney Cruise Line, how could they implement it? Who knows? Hey, Heather, 503 days, so you're on the Disney Fantasy. Maddie, Maddie I can't wait. That sounds like a lot of fun. Post pictures, we want to see it. Hi from New York. Hey, Zach. Michael, how will... The lines be at Toy Story Land. Long, long, Joshua, long. Michael, did you hear about the bus arrival times? Okay, I just just saw it. It's a rumor now. I, I think it's been confirmed, but I, I yes, you're absolutely right. I'm pretty sure it, it's been like semi-confirmed. I looked at the My Disney Experience app before I logged in here, and it's not on my app yet, so hopefully soon. Hi from Pennsylvania. Thanks for the great videos, Chrissy. I'm so glad you enjoy them. Hi, Michael. New app, just more tracking. It, Amber brings up a very good point. Amber, thank you for bringing that up. How do you feel about... You know, this and information sharing has been a, a, a note of conversation for a few days now. Are you uncomfortable with this? Or do you think that Disney tracks enough just with the magic bands? We don't really need them to track even more of where we are. Could this provide them with more information? For me personally, I can see it both ways. Absolutely. I, I say to myself, okay, you know, they're tracking me. They know what I'm doing. They know where I'm going. They know all that these things. Do I trust people with this information? Well, that's the thing. I only want to give them information that I really trust them trust them to hold on to. Of course, there's some information you have to give them. Um, but yes, so that, I think, is it a part of life? Yes, but we can also choose what we do and don't want to share. Uh, recently, I actually turned off my location sharing. So I can choose to you know, pick a location, but like turn off location sharing for some apps. Just because, you know, it's very uncomfortable. And I can understand it. So I totally know where you're coming from. Another costume hint. I have to think of another costume hint. Morning from California. Oh, wow. Good morning. 32 days until my next Walt Disney World adventure. Gabba, have fun. Kathy, 72 and 178 and 162. Have fun. David, this app could be like you could interact with things around you, like things moving or making noise. Exactly, David. I was thinking in a, you know, uh, an expansion onto the um, World Showcase game. You know what I mean? Where things move when you interact with them. Hi, Michael. Good morning, Tanya. Uh, do you have fast passes for Toy Story? Not yet. They're not open. Wait a minute. Oh, I should have checked that this morning. Maybe I'll check that as we're 
I can't believe I forgot to check that. I'm going to check right now. Uh, I hope the app will work with a haunted mansion. That would be really, really cool. Let me tell you, that would be fantastic. I totally forgot about this fast pass thing. As uh, as long as it builds a better experience. Amber, I am right there with you. I want it to build a better experience. Yeah, it is getting, it's absolutely creepy. You got you to be able to look in that tech and see what you want to share and what you don't. So no doubt about it. Okay, I'm, that's not right. I'm just trying to look for fast passes here. I'm going to answer some questions as I'm going. Michael, imagine about being on... Um, Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, gosh. It wants a linked account. I have to do this later. Uh, <laughs> I did this wrong. <laughs> um, do you think Toy Story Land opening will be more crowded than Pandora opening day? No, I don't. I don't think it will be. I think um, it will be crowded, but not as crowded. It's not as, it's not as big an expansion, so I feel like it won't be as crowded. Michael from the UK. Don't often disagree on those rethought your comments or children's shoulders for fireworks. Don't often disagree, though. Have to re, uh, have you rethought your comments on children on shoulders for fireworks? I, I need to specify because you're right. I needed to clarify that. When I'm at Walt Disney World, I have a camera with me. I have a camera with me, so I'm always looking for a spot where I'm not going to disrupt someone else's view. And when I say children on shoulders, I'm talking about w w places where I stand. I have a tendency to stand with my back toward, like, um, you know, those gardens of the Magic Kingdom where you have like a fence, and then there's like a big garden, and then people are standing back there. I hold my camera almost at, at you know chest level, so it's not it's not in the way. But when I say kids on shoulders, I'm talking about like out of everyone's way. So if you really want to to put children on shoulders, it's got to be like so that you're not blocking at someone else's view. D does that make sense? There are there are plenty of spots all around the Magic Kingdom where you can stand and have your back to like um what am I thinking of like a, like a pillar or a or a something or a garden where there's no one behind you. Like there's a big space, no one behind you or a wall or something. And there are plenty of spots. If you really insist on putting children on shoulders, that's a good spot. Like somewhere where you're not blocking anyone. But it's the simple Disney courtesies. It's the thought through of, you know, someone else's, how they're going to enjoy it. That's what I, the point I was trying to make. Hopefully that is elaborated. Um, we just booked the Rainforest Room on the Fantasy 97 Days. Have fun. Michael, imagine being able to interact with things around you while you're waiting in line on a ride. Similar to Test Track. I absolutely agree. I think it's a great idea. I'm looking forward to it. Now, you know, I'm, I'm a big advocate of disconnecting at Disney. I say it all the time. But is this a way to be reconnected or maybe in, c connect with people who you're standing with? I don't know. It, it, it's that's that be, that's a line. There's a line there. I don't know where it, where it is anymore. Michael, also, do you think this app could be implemented for waiting for dining or other parks? I think so. I think Disney has so much potential with this app to make it for many things, even waiting for fireworks. Imagine like you can like, do you know what they have? You know what they do at Disney's California Adventure when I went? On the Ferris wheel, you may, people from who have been to Disney California Adventure, you're going to know this. On the Ferris wheel, and I should have mentioned this in the video, you everyone has the ability to play, um, I think it's like a matching game or a, I forgot the game itself, but it's, it's, a, it's a game you play on your phone. Everyone plays at the same time. And whoever wins in all the crowd of thousands of people gets to control the color of the Ferris wheel, the, the Mickey's fun wheel, at least for a short period of time. To me, imagine doing this on Cinderella Castle. I mean, you could change the color of Cinderella Castle by winning this game. So smart. I mean, th there are so many things that Disney can do, and I think the Imagineers are really starting to latch onto this idea. I can't wait to see what it is. I, I my Again, my imagination is that of an Imagineer. I'm thinking, you know, really, really in-depth stuff. Could it be like something... I'm going to be... Yeah, will I be disappointed if it's basic? I'll try not to be, but you know what I'm... You see what I'm saying. I'm missing comments. I'm sorry. Do you think this will be worth traveling from the UK to Walt Disney World before the renovations are done? My family and I are thinking of waiting making our next trip for the 50th anniversary. Sarah, good question. Don't be afraid. Those general Q&A questions, that's what we're doing this for. It's great. I love them. I, I, oh gosh, I wish I could say to go both. But if you're saying either wait for the 50th anniversary or go now, and you're saying you wouldn't be able to go again for a while, like at like a couple of years after the 50th anniversary, um, oh gosh, it depends on what what you really want to see and do. Are you big Star Wars fans? Do you want to see that Tron roller coaster? If those are priorities for you, then I might wait. Otherwise, I would go now and then go after that 50th anniversary because it's going to be crowded for the 50th anniversary. So you may want to wait some time. It, I can see both ways. That's a tough one. Good question. I think, unfortunately, not everyone is going to be courteous as we wish. It's part of the frustration of crowds. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I think you're right, Chelsea. And I'm just trying to do my two cents to... You know, our Disney family is some of the most courteous, kind, unbelievably thoughtful people in the world. Honest, I believe that. So it's not, you know, it's for everyone. It's, it's, you know, I'm not just saying to some people. I live for the dream in 
for the dream in eight days. Your videos have so ex have me so excited to go. Kelly, you're gonna have a great time. Enjoy it. P post those pictures. Yep, love uh, makes total sense. Right, so uh, you can imagine what they're going to do with it. Pop. A new courtesy, Disney Play app and walk. Oh, yes. Oh, you know what? I haven't even thought about that. Watch where you're walking. Right, don't don't um, don't be this person who's standing and just like, I, I don't see you. I'm just going to walk into you. Right, we have to be careful of that. No doubt about it. Uh, the Mickey's Fun Wheel is the scariest ride at the park. When I rode it with my uh, with my siblings, we were we were going back and forth. You know, it slides all over the place. It's scary. It is scary. Uh, I love the fun wheel. I've got to go back to California Adventure. Got to do it. Michael, is your brother? Is your brother David single? Um, he might not want me to answer that. Uh, I'm going to leave that blank. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't want to reveal any. I am, but I don't want to answer anything for my siblings. I like the stream, Michael. Oh, I'm so glad. Magical Disney News. Thank you so much for being a part of it. All right, let's go back and answer some of these questions. I'm sorry I missed your comments. Um, last week I told you t I made a Dole Whip from a school project and use your video to help. And it turned out great. My teachers loved it and thanked you. Quentin, I'm so glad to hear that. Thanks for sharing that story with me. They said Fast Passes for Toy Story Land open 60 days prior. That's right. It's not It's not 70. It's 60. That's right. So I can't, I wouldn't be able to do it anyway. Wow. I, I was worried. I thought I set in a reminder for myself. I must have. What are your thoughts about the price point on the new Star Wars Resort? Do you think staying there will be realistic for us everyday folks who aren't rich? Uh, I'm going to have a trouble saving for that one. Let me tell you. I'm going to have so much trouble for that. It's going to be $1,000. I almost guarantee it. Um, I'm going to go to it probably once and then not for a long time, just because I'm, I'm going to have so much trouble affording it and then also doing Disney cruises. I think it's probably worth going to, to experience. I will let you know when I experience it, but I have a feeling it's going to be extremely expensive. Will Toy Story Land opening be as crowded as Pandora was? I doubt it, Holly. I doubt it. Human, uh, when it, when in Disney, went to Disneyland on Tuesday and when was looking forward to using your tips for meet and greets, where... Uh, it really helped what, what make it magical. I'm so glad to hear that. So glad to hear that, human. Um, David is a dish. Oh, <laughs> I'll tell him. I'll tell him. Did you make the Captain Hook costume? No, that was my sister. My sister Michelle made that one. My, uh, Michael, why do you enjoy opening days at Disney with the insane crowds? Um, two reasons, David. First of all, I like to be able to experience it firsthand, you know, when I... I can, I can see it, and I, I want to be able to experience that opening feeling. There's something about opening day that's a lot of excitement. I'm not a big crowds person. I'm really not. You see me doing these crowd things all the time, including July 4th. When I go, it's going to be one of the most crowded times of year. But I want to be there for Toy Story Land and July 4th. But when I'm going in September, that is far less crowded. So I don't, you know, I prefer not having crowds. The other reason is I like to be able to share it with you. So there's it's a twofold situation. I'm going back to Disneyland in four weeks and California Adventure. Have fun. Adam, have you any tips for on how to book dining to be, uh, be our guest? We've been trying on the app every day for 170, uh, from 170 days before our trip, but can't get a table. We managed to get C Cinderella Castle. Adam, I wish I had better advice, but you're doing the right thing. Keep on going. Keep on trying. Try it uh, different times of day, like like weird times of day. Like If you're up at 6 in the morning for work, try that. If you're going to bed at like 10, 10 p.m., try that. Try weird times. It, hopefully, it'll get there, but I've had the same problem. I really have. Hi, Michael. Don't forget, there's a live stream tomorrow at Animal Kingdom. Yes, I'll be watching Disney's live stream. Uh, when is your next Disney cruise? No official date yet, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Good morning from North Carolina. Going to Disney World in 55 days. Have fun. <clears throat> Yay for Puerto Rico. Good morning. What day, what did you get that, that calendar? I have been admiring it. I made that calendar. I, I actually, uh, I had it for friends. I was selling it for a while. Uh, I made it. I sold to friends. I, I don't know if I'll continue making them because it's a it's a very difficult task. But if you like them, I might uh, I might make some more of those calendars. I what are we not? Oh, we're still in April. Yeah, about to say I forgot to change it. Uh, the um, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun. I, I love it. I just have to what I have to do is be able to what I have to choose between vlogging and taking these uh, pictures like that because I usually switch out the lens of my camera because I love to take pictures like this, but I also love vlogging. And when I'm there for a limited time, you know what I mean? So that's a that's a conversation for Michael. You should move to Florida. I know, I know. Hashtag Michael's the best. Oh, that's so kind. You're too kind to me. Are you looking forward to the food at Toy Story Land? I am. I really am. Have you seen any vegetarian options? The Greek yogurt one, I think, would be vegetarian. You might have to look into that one. I, I am not, I'm an, I may not, I may be wrong on that. Double check. But I'm really looking forward to the uh, brisket melt. That one looks so good. <clears throat> mm. Any idea when... Wow. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Allergies. Any idea when Galaxy's Edge might open? 2019 summer. Maybe... Uh, I'm not going to give a month. 2019 summer. Mm. Do you think there'll be a soft opening of Toy Story Land before June 30th? Yes, I do. 
Uh, Michael, I'm going to Disney in 199 days. How do I cope with waiting for my trip? Um, I'm going to, I would, I, this is pretty shameless, but I do like, I personally watch my vlogs when I go back to them. There are plenty of other vlogs too, other videos. That's how I like to get through it. Also on my Disney family, the Facebook group, uh, you are welcome to share pictures and share your excitement. There's a lot of great uh, friends in our community who share all of the Disney excitement. So it's a great place too. Shameless plug, I know. Would you ever release your own merchandise? I actually already have some in the description of all my videos. I have uh, shirts and a sweatshirt, which came out so well. Do you see that sweatshirt in our vlog? That came out so well. I'm so impressed. What are your thoughts on the current roof work going on at Wonders of Life? Do you think the inside of the building is going to be refurbished? Yes. Yes, indeed. Do I think it'll be a restaurant, a ride, a, a shop? I have no idea. But it's definitely going to, to look totally different. Hi, Michael. We're driving to Disney this Thursday from Connecticut. Have fun. We will wave to you on the drive through Washington. I will wave back. Thursday is the day. All right, I'm going to wave back. Which ride will be your Tier 1 Fast Pass selection for Toy Story Land? The, the, the Slinky Dog. Slinky Dog Ride, no doubt. Have you thought about doing a run Disney event in the addition to Disney Vacations? I have, I just have, I have, excuse me, but I haven't, uh, I haven't done it yet. Hope to, hopefully in the, in the future. 31 days for us to go. Excited. I'm excited for the new monorails. Uh, okay, so let's move on to those new monorails. Perfect, perfect uh, avenue to our next topic. Those monorails have not been confirmed. I made a video all about it. Again, I want to specify rumor, 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 but... The rumor alone is just so exciting. You saw those videos, right? From the and it's I think it's Bomba 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 Day. I said Bombardier. I, it's the company. Um, I am really excited about this. I do. I think they will be um, driverless. Yes, I do. Um, do I think that Disney will be able to drive them if they want? Yes, I do. I think that. Do I, you know, there's so many questions. Uh, let me know what you think. But I also don't think they'll have the full hallways, but, you know, they'll be open throughout. I think they'll have, like, different um, seating areas. But at the same time, maybe not. I don't know. There's so many questions. You saw the video. Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to read your thoughts. If if they have a soft opening of Toy Story Land, would it be open to the general public or to a certain people? I would keep an eye open to the Disney Parks blog. Sometimes they open it and you have to sign up really fast. Other times they open it to the general public. But usually for these, like, two-week in advance ones... Um, it's, it's sign up. Yes. Mail time's coming in the future. Maybe I'll do a birthday mail time next. Maybe that'll be, I'll do the next one. What's uh, the link for the Disney stream? Oh, check out the Disney parks blog. They'll, they'll stream it there. Hi, Michael. I'm going to my first Disney cruise, la cruise labor day weekend. and wanted to know if I need to wait for the 75 day window to book rainforest room tickets. I have no idea. I ha maybe someone else in our family can tell us. I don't think so, but I'm not sure. Someone else in our family might be able to tell us that one. I kind of hope they seem reasonable old ones i'm sentimental yes i i'm sentimental too i actually posted on instagram about that this morning i'm going to miss them i will miss the mark six no question michael if you could theme the monorail however you want how would you theme it that's a good question i would and this is me this is this is out there this is weird this is not normal but what i would do is i would make each one individually themed for different disney things of the past maybe like something that can't go away now i'm not talking about an ip and you know uh, intellectual property i'm not talking about like a marvel monorail even though that'd be cool that would i'm talking about like like a mickey monorail it's just like totally mickey inside and out like outside you got the colors for mickey inside there's just so much mickey there's a daisy monorail where it's just it's daisy everywhere like fab five and then figment please include figment um you know what i mean so it's like super theming not just the colors but, like, here comes the mini monorail. Like, you have the ultimate monorail is set to go. The problem with that is that some monorails don't run all the time. They're, you know, they have different monorails they, they keep in the station. They don't actually bring them out. So then we'd be like, okay, I was hoping for the Figment monorail today, and it's not here. You know what I mean? But I feel like they could go so far with this. They could make, like, a, a soundtrack as, as the monorail is pulling into the station. Like... Uh, like a Mickey sound, like you could have Mickey be like, huh, you know, something, something, I can't do that. Well, I, I'm, I do a bad Mickey laugh, but you know what I mean? Like they could do so much to bring the magic to us with a different theming. I don't know. What do you think? Hope the monorails have some new colors. Yes, that'd be great. Some new colors. Um, since Inside Out is getting an attraction at Pixar Pier, do you think Disney is testing, teasing that an Inside Out attraction is coming to Epcot and Pixar Pier? Absolutely. I've heard rumors about Inside Out coming to Epcot many, many times. I have a feeling that is going to come true. Tomorrow's Animal, Animal Kingdom's 20th. Yes, happy early 20th anniversary, Animal Kingdom. Um, have you seen the Pixar converted monorail at Disneyland? Yes, I did. It looks pretty cool. I think they should theme the monorails 
either the characters or the theme parks. Exactly. I think it would be amazing. What an awesome idea, Michael. I'm, lo I'm so glad you like it. Yeah, there's so many different directions they can go with the monorail. What do you think? Don't think so. Sophie, because... Oh, he's talking to Sophie. 44 days until magic begins. Have fun. Have fun. Um, are you talking about the rainforest room? Okay, you don't need a reservation. Uh, you can go to the rainforest room at any time during your cruise, so you don't need a reservation. Right, so I don't think you need 75 days. It's worth a call. I would call them. Oh, you love that idea. I'm so glad. Yes, isn't that, isn't that good? You know, I, I was thinking about that. I was like, you, you know, the IPs, maybe a, a Marvel monorail would be great too. Fine, that's fine. But I do think the Fab Five need their own monorails because that's the Fab Five aren't going anywhere. I'm not saying that Marvel is going anywhere, but that's call me sentimental. I like the standard Disney. I like Mickey. I like Minnie. I like Daisy. I like Figment. You know what I mean? That's call me sentimental. That's fine. But I can see it. Like maybe not like because they probably have to keep it a certain size to like fit in the contemporary. But you can put like ears on the glass there. You know what I mean? Like Mickey ears, and then one can have Minnie ears, and the whole thing is themed. Like I can see it now. Like the polka dots. For many monorail, you know what I mean? Like, and that would be even more, that would be even easier to identify for the monorail captains if, well, they may not be driving them. Hmm. That's even, because the reason they have them is to help the monorail captains know who is who. And they identify themselves, but it would be even easier with like a mini or a Mickey or a Figment. It's, I, I don't know. I feel like it's amazing. Disney should hire you to represent their company. You sh you get excited about everything Disney. Well, maybe one day, Pam. You gonna talk to Bob Iger for me? You gotta talk to him. Um, maybe one day. Who knows? Never know what the future holds. Uh, yeah, Disney, you know my number. Call me. Uh, <laughs> I think there will be a cast member on the monorail. I have a feeling that there will be, they'll be somewhere on the monorail. I think you're right. I don't think it'll be just empty. Maybe they'll be within, like standing within, or maybe they'll just be around to help. But I have a feeling you're right. They'll be somewhere. I'd love to see movie-themed monorails. That'd be cool, too. Michael, how is a normal day in the life of Michael like? Are you talking about weekend or weekday? All right, let's do week. I'll do weekday very quickly. I wake up early in the morning, go to work, go to work for eight hours, come back. Uh, depending on the day, it could be later, but usually I come back. Usually I'm home by 5:30 ish, and then I uh, make a video, edit it, put it all together, make the thumbnail, put it online, and go to sleep. <laughs> That's the weekday. Weekend I start with you, and then I usually make a video or two on the weekend um, and catch up on some news and Disney things that are happening and. Uh, Think about trips to the future. All that. Hopefully that's that's quick. Uh, Figment Monorail. Wouldn't that be awesome? I can see it now. That would be unbelievable. Classic Disney. Yes. I would love to see more Marvel at Walt Disney World. It's one thing that bums me out. I was actually looking that up. I This was a topic for me. I was thinking about talking about in a video, but I there, there's not much to make of it. Um, that contract with Universal, or technically Comcast, which I had to look up. That's weird. Uh, means that they Disney can never really have Monorail. Uh, that as many of the Marvel things that they do in uh, California, uh, it's unfortunate. It is, and I know Disney wishes they could too, but they're probably thinking like, okay, we'll do like the next big thing or something like that. Even though they're doing Galaxy's Edge, which we have a bigger one than at Disneyland, but I, I wish they could bring Marvel more to at Disney World is too, Disney World too. But I'm glad we have Tower of Terror. If we get to keep Tower of Terror and not have the Marvel Universe, I'll take that. I love Tower of Terror. Any plans for any more cooking with Michael? I know I've been so behind on it. I've been so behind. I'm sorry. I, I've been meaning to do cooking with Michael. I will try and find more time. I don't know when the next one will be. It'll it may be a little while. Um, what is the courtesy if we want to go to Crystal Palace for food, but our teens don't want to interact with the characters? Mm. That is a good question. Candace, um, if the characters are usually extremely good at being able to tell who and who doesn't really want to interact as much. Um, just be polite, I guess, would be the advice. That's a good question. Are you doing Create the Adventure with Michael for your upcoming trip? Yes, I am. That was part of the trip announcement. You can go check it out in that video. Uh, when is your next cooking with Michael? I have no idea. I would love a monorail at Disneyland Paris. That would be cool, right? How do you feel about Florida heat? Do you use oh, baby powder? Uh, I don't, but I do know that some people do. Um, it, it can get pretty hot. A video explaining the Marvel arrangement between Disney Universal would be great. Uh, it's it's very uh, complex. Short version is um, way back when Comcast, which owns Marvel, which owns Universal, bought the rights for everything uh, east east of Mississippi for Marvel. They can't even use the name Marvel Land. They, they can't even do that. So there there's a lot of things, and that's forever. I looked up to see if there was like an end date to this contract. There, it's not. There, it's forever. It's forever. Uh, quick, five, my, Michael, what, what are your top five quick service restaurants? I have a video all about it, Ali. Check it out on my channel. <clears throat> um, do you have any thoughts about Disney buying, oh, 21st Century Fox for 52 billion? Oh my gosh, it's a lot of money. Um, 
I think that the more Disney has, the better they can use it. Um, do I think, and this is, uh, I guess it's appropriate for families. Do, uh, do I think that they'll, they'll bring the character Deadpool to Disney World? No, I don't. I, I really don't. They're, they're going to use it, make money with it. I think it's just an avenue for them to make money. Do I think, even X-Men, I don't think they can bring that to Walt Disney World because Comcast owes that too. Um, 21st Century Fox, do I think it's a good one? As long I guess it'll make them more money. I don't really know the business side too much. I, I wish I did, but... I, I guess if it makes them more money, I suppose so. Um, you know what would be great? A Walt Disney themed monorail. I know, right? Wouldn't that be cool? Um, Five year old son, Boo, wants to say hi. Hi. I think it's it's Boo. Excuse me if I have that wrong. If you could give him a shout out, I'd, it'd make his day. Hi, Boo. Good to see you. <clears throat> Do you think there should be a Pixar Fest at Walt Disney World? I don't think it would hurt. I don't. I don't think it would hurt at all. I think it'd be nice. I really do. Anyway, uh, so let's talk about um, let's talk about character dining. Character dining is um, is one that I get a lot of questions about all the time. I made a video all about it this week, and I wanted to talk about it just a little bit more. What is your favorite, my personal favorite, Chef Mickey's, just because of those memories? I mean, there's so many so many great memories <clears throat> with Chef Mickey's that I have. Um, and I just, I can't get over it. I, I think that the character dining really brings out the kid in all of us. So I think there's a lot to be said for it. Which one is your favorite? Let me know. Mm. My six-year-old daughter and I love watching your videos. We just found your channel, and... Uh, Irvi would love to say hi to Pegasus. Well, hi, Irvi. Pegasus sends his best to you. Uh, thanks for being a part of it with me. Don't forget, all of my channel is always family friendly. Always, 100% will and, and will be in the future. I promise you. So thanks for being a part of it. It means a great deal. Um, but no doubt, there's a lot to look forward to. There's no question about it. I'm going to try and follow up some comments that I missed. Um, do I think that Pixar, a Pixar covered monorail at Disneyland would be, or Disney World would be good? Yes, I do. I think that they can cover it with whatever they want. It would be great. But just imagine the five, the Fab Five character monorail. I think it'd be great too. How many days will you be at Hollywood Studios on the opening of Toy Story Land? So I will be there the entirety of the first day. The entirety. Um, if you see me, come say hi. Uh, but I will probably come back another day during that trip uh, because it's a longer trip for me because I'm going for July 4th. Not a bad thing. Very happy about that. But. Um, yeah, I'll probably be going back another full day just to experience it again, or at least another half day. My favorite is Chef Mickey's or Ohana. Yay! Lo love Ohana. Absolutely love it. Are they bringing back uh, Singing Now, doing the cards? I'm not familiar with Singing Now. Maybe I missed that. Disney spends money on everything but their... Oh, uh, see, you know, I wish they had spent more money on their employees. That's their... Yes, we can... I haven't really talked about that that much. Um, the cast members do a tremendous amount, and I think that, the, you know, they should definitely be paid... Uh, you know, the right amount. But I, I really, I can't have a good opinion on this because I don't know the whole business side. I think that being able to, you know, make a good life from working at Disney is very important though. So I don't know. I don't have much of it. You know, I, I can't really give much opinion because I don't have much information. Uh, what editor do you use to edit your videos? Final Cut Pro. I actually have one working right now. Um, we love Garden Grill character dining. Great interactions. I've been meaning to get back to Garden Grill. Lauren and Mark, I've been meaning to get back to it. I hope to again um, soon. I really do. I gosh, I've been mean to do that. Did you say Galaxy's Edge Walt Disney World will be larger than Disneyland? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. It'll be, I think, significantly larger, like several times larger. I will. Uh, I'll find out for sure, but I'm pretty sure it's it's very much bigger. I can't just pick one. New favorite is Tusker House at Animal Kingdom. I haven't tried Tusker House since I was so small. I want to try it again. I really do. <clears throat> if you've never done character dining before, which would you say is the best one to start with in terms of time spent with characters, number of characters, etc. I, I am biased. I'm going to say Chef Mickey's, honestly. For breakfast, I would say Chef Mickey's. Um, but if you want another one for, for princesses, I would say Norway, Akashur's. I would say that one is a, is a great one. Disney announced this morning they're hiring 3,500 new employees. Yay, that's good. Okay, so is anybody going to go work at Walt Disney World now? Dusker House, Akashur's, Ohana for breakfast. I want to try Garden Grill. I've been meaning to try it again. Um Excuse me, Cape May Cafe. Oh, you know, I haven't been for breakfast at Cape May Cafe for a while, but dinner, the clam bake, is so, so good. They don't have the characters, but the, the dinner is so good. Um, Michael, when will you do more vlogs? I've got to do more vlogs. David, I really want to. Every time I'm at Disney, I make a new vlog, which is a lot of fun, but you're, uh, more about the, um, what is the name? What is the Facebook? What is your, oh, what is um, the name of your Facebook group? It's My Disney Family on Facebook. It's got the Epcot Spaceship Earth as the cover right now. I've been thinking about changing that one. Um, anyway, so it's, uh, it's a good one. What did I, oh, so more vlogs. I need to get to Disney more frequently so I can go and make more vlogs for you. I love being able to make those Disney vlogs. They're, they're one of my favorite things to do, really, honestly. Uh, I want to improve them. I, I was just talking to my friend the other day and we were talking about it. And I, I keep, 
I keep wanting to improve it. And yeah, I, I have a lot of friends have said, Michael, the improvements you've made over the past year alone are fantastic. And I'm really, I'm really proud of all of that we've accomplished together. But I want to continue to improve them. I want them to be just the amazing, just amazing. So I'm, I'm working on it. I'm always thinking of new ideas. Michael, have you ever had breakfast at Cinderella Castle? Yes, I have when I was very small. And it was great. It really is. Kate May Cafe breakfast is the best. Okay, Jennifer, I'm going to have to try it again soon. Haunted Mansion restaurant or Star Wars restaurant? Well, consi David, considering that a Star Wars restaurant is already in construction, I'm going to say Haunted Mansion restaurant because I want that in addition. I want both. I, I want both. I'm telling you. Do you have any suggestions of a one special thing to do in each park? That's a tough question. Um, one special thing to do in each park. There are so many special things to do in all the parks. <laughs> Magic Kingdom. Uh, let's let's talk about just one. Let's talk about just Magic Kingdom. Sitting by um, the ice cream shop and looking at Cinderella Castle while eating or drinking something is extra special for me. It just brings back those memories. Hopefully that helps. Will Pegasus be joining on your next adventure? I believe so, but not every day. Not every day because I have to watch the shoulder. But mo some days, maybe some days. Just found your channel a few weeks ago and love it. I leave for Disney Cruise in Alaska. Alaska Cruise. Oh my gosh. Anime Palooza. I hope to hear all about it. I've never been on Alaskan Cruise. Can I ask about vlogging camera you use? Of course. I want to be able to share my trip. I recommend... Oh gosh, I almost dropped this. Uh, if you want to just start off in vlogging, don't be afraid to just use your phone. I use the Canon 70D, but you can find all of the equipment that I use for all of my vlogs in the description of this video. You've seen this camera before. Um, are there any rides that you just won't do? No, I won't. Um, I won't try any. I mean, there are. I will always try a ride. Always. Um, will there are there any rides that I don't do anymore? Usually, I don't do as much Stitch as Great Escape, but again, that's gone. So there's uh, there you know there's there's some every so often, not frequently though. Um, I'm late. I'm here. Hugs. Hugs, Vicky. Any, um, do you think there will be a Banshee type souvenir at Toy Story Land? Yep. I sure do. Well, something. They'll do something big, like a, a 50 or $60 item, something, a hat, a, a thing, a backpack, something to hang on you. It's definitely going to be exciting. Have you ever done Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party? I sure have. Trying to decide whether it's worth the money. It absolutely is. I've been meaning to go back and I'm starting to worry if I'm going to be able to go back again this year. I, I want to go back badly. I, uh, I, I haven't done it in a while. I want to go back again. Disneyland can ride in front of the monorail. Do you plan on going to ride on the front? I would love to. I want to. 9200 Park Fair is great also for character breakfast and great food. Also gives you a chance to enjoy the Grand Floridian. No doubt about it. No doubt about it at all. Now, this is a great time for the general live Q&A. Don't be afraid to ask those questions all about Disney or me or anything you want to ask about. More than happy to answer them for you. I really appreciate you spending some time with me today. <clears throat> Did you see that they have new merchandise for the Animal Kingdom anniversary? I did. I did, including that gift card, which looks pretty cool. But the cupcake looks cool. There's a lot of great stuff that's coming out tomorrow. No doubt about it. They'll probably do a celebration, too. There's probably a big ceremony. It's going to be cool. Do you ever get stressed <laughs> stressed out making sure a video is out each day? Um, not usually. Um, sometimes. I mean, I mean, not, 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't use the word stressed. Sometimes I'm thinking about ideas like, okay, what, what do you think about this or that, the other thing? And making sure I do the proper research to make sure I give you the you know correct information because I don't want to give you information that's not true, um, but not stressed. No, not, not usually. That's fun for me. Have you done the keys to the kingdom tour? That is one. Oh my gosh, I've been meaning to do it. See, you see what kind of things we got to do in the future. I can't film there though, so I'll just tell you about it. Um, I'm doing it for the first time in May. Nicholas, hope you, hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, maybe I should, you know what? Maybe I should try that on this adventure. That's one. Do you, do you think we should try that on this adventure? Maybe I should. I'm going to look into that. Mm. Where did you get the countdown blocks? It was sent to me by a very kind friend rather recently, too. So we, you can keep count with me on how many days we have to go. <clears throat> I have fast pass for Nab Nabi River Journey. Uh, for Ra Nabi River Journey, would you suggest it? It's not bad, Creative Soul. But if you can get that for um, Flights of Passage or Flight of Passage, <laughs> I would recommend you switch it. I really would. It's, it's well worth the switch. Michael, you will be creating a new calendar. Will you be creating a new calendar for 2019? Would you like me to? <laughs> Let me know. Okay, good time. Do you want I was thinking about something else besides a calendar. I was thinking about something um, less expensive, some things that everyone can have a little bit easier. Or do you like the calendars? You, you tell me. I want to hear your thoughts. <clears throat> don't be afraid to say no. Don't, don't be afraid. Either way, I want to hear your thoughts. Um, when is the projected completion of, of the gondola? I have heard... Maybe uh, 2019, like early summer, spring 2019. We'll find out. I, I look at those um, those towers going up, and I think even earlier than that. I some people said you know, spring 2019. I'm thinking like fall, like winter 2018. 
I don't know. They just look like they're too far along. And they're, they're already painting the gondola things. I feel like they're too far along. Uh, any tips on how to ride flights of passage without a fast pass? Go early in the morning, first thing at lunch or at closing. Great, great question. Is Wi-Fi available throughout the Disney property? It is, but there are some spots where you're not going to get it. Um, on a bus, sometimes you'll, you'll be intermittent, obviously. But in the parks and in the resorts, they have Wi-Fi for you. I will definitely let you know my thoughts on the tour. Def definitely, Nicholas. I want to hear about it. What's your number one Walt Disney World must do for a first timer? Taking my friend who's never been. Oh, Brooklyn Bridge. What would I just say? Um, enjoy it. Take a slow and, and steady pace and, and relive those classics. Be able to do the classics that make Disney World so magical. That, that would be my advice. Love seeing your pic of you and your sis having, uh, having fun at sushi. Oh, I'm glad you like that. I posted on Instagram and Facebook yesterday. Your birthday is coming up soon. Yes, thank you. What are your plans? I really don't have any specific plans for my birthday. I, I, um, I'll probably celebrate by doing a mail time. I'll, I'll probably, that's one of, you know, I love being able to get mail from friends. So I'll probably celebrate with mail time. Thanks for thinking of me though. Uh, Michael, will you do an office tour? I promise I will do it in the future. It, it, one day in the future, I will, I will do an office tour. It's not much to see. I want to be able to expand, but before I leave this one, I will, I'll go to the next one. Um, I'd love to do, uh, for Toy Story Land to have an awesome drink like Night Blossom. I would too. And I was surprised they didn't have something like that. I, I see, part of me wonders, like, will they have something like that? But when you look at the menu, um, of the, what is it? Woody's lunchbox? Um, it didn't look like they had anything quite like that. So maybe they'll surprise us. You, know, you never know. Dole Whip or Night Blossom? Dole Whip. I, I can't, as much as I love the Night Blossom, Dole Whip will not be replaced. I, I refuse. <laughs> I absolutely refuse. Keys to the Kingdom tour was super fun, especially the ride on the Jungle Cruise with the guide's commentary. I've got to try it. I know you like Disney music. Have you tried Sorcerer Radio? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I listen to Disney music. I actually have a set of three CDs that a friend of mine sent me. I think it was Gianna sent me... Um, these three CDs, I have them on my phone. I can listen to them on Apple CarPlay on my new car. So, yeah, I love it. My birthday is May 10th. Thanks for asking. The gondola tower might be done, but stations are going... Oh, that's right. Jennifer, you're right. I totally forgot about that. Thank you, Jennifer. The stations have not been built yet. Got it. Right. So maybe they will be later. All right. Hey, Michael, what ride uh, at the International Disney Parks would you love to have come to Walt Disney World? Ah, it's such a good question. Have you seen the Pirates of the Caribbean at... Is it Shanghai? Yeah, Shanghai has some amazing what they've done with technology in Shanghai Disneyland is unbelievable. I try not to spoil it for myself because I do want to go to the international parks in the future. I also want to go to several other places. I, you, I'm not going to say anything. Um, in the future. Mm. Um, <laughs> odds that Disney uh, Hollywood... Uh, DHS uh, Hollywood Studios will reach capacity on June 30th. Extremely likely. Extremely likely that they will. Um, I have no doubt about it. I have no doubt about it. I, um, I, I, it's going to be crowded. It's going to be crowded. Wait, Chelsea, your, your birthday is May 10th too? Hey, happy birthday. Early birthday to you. Happy early birthday. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, there's a lot to look forward to. And by the way, if you're at uh, Toy Story Land uh, opening day, don't expect to stream anything. I don't expect to be able to stream the, the connection... The towers will be totally overworked. There is never a chance. I can't. I, I tried to stream from the opening of Pandora. I wasn't able to. So uh, there will be very little streaming. <laughs> it's going to be so crowded. It's tough to stream when it's crowded. So there will be no doubt about it. My birthday is May 14th. I was born uh, a decade or so earlier. Hi there. No, it's, that's good. May is a good time to be born. Um, they repainted the walls in Tomorrowland to match the Tron theme. Yes, I saw that, Quentin. But apparently there's still an area that's still the standard purple wall. So that's good. Uh, what flavor tea is your favorite? Actually, that's a very good question. Um, I, I like a lot of different teas. There's a peach flavored tea from uh, Bigelow. They have a great tea. Um, there's this one that you can only, actually, technically you can't, but my, my UK friends will know this. In Epcot at um, the England Pavilion in the um, Twining's Tea Shop, you can buy lavender tea i forgot the name of the company it's like you know it's tw twinings that's right lavender twinings tea it's like it's a caffeinated tea that's so good I've, i don't know if you've tried that one but i i've only been able to find it at epcot so <laughs> i i don't know um uh, it's one to try every time i'm there i usually buy four of them uh for myself and i go through them over the t over the course of um the time i'm away but they're really good Michael, I might be going to Disney when you are going this summer. Do you have any specific day for when you will go to Blizzard Beach? No, I, I, I haven't planned any of that out yet. I usually can switch it up uh, day by day. This, these kind of things change for me. So I, I don't really know where I'll be. You know where I'll be on the 30th, though, Toy Story Land. 
But um, besides that, it, it varies. And I can ch I changed my mind last minute. You've seen me do that before. Um, you can't find the lavender tea. Well, okay, Twining's Tea Shop, ask them. They should be able to help you. But I've only ever, no, I can't find it at any store. Only Epcot Twining Tea Shop. Don't know why. Uh, if, for those who are UK, have do you have them where you are? Maybe you do. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> my birthday is June 18th. I go on a Disney cruise for my birthday. Jose, I think it's Jose. Have a lot of fun. Have a great time. Enjoy it. Uh, May Babies. Yes, May Babies. Go for May Babies. Anyway, let me know if you have any other last, last minute questions. I'm going to get on off here and um, make some more videos. Uh, do, do a lot today. There's a lot I want to get done. I want to get... Uh, what, what, what else am I doing today? We'll probably get a few more videos done. Uh, relax a little bit. It's been a busy week at uh, my my other job. I, busy, busy week. So we're, we're getting there, though. Um, I'll, let you, I'll send you some lavender tea for a birthday gift. Oh, well, thank you, Paul. That's very kind of you. Thank you. What time are you leaving in the morning to go to Toy Story Land? I haven't thought that one through. That's a good question. Well, how early would you get there? I, I'm thinking, let's assume, uh, the assumption, it opens at, I'm going to say 8 o'clock in the morning. They'll probably open at 8. Maybe, they might say 9, but it'll probably be 8. Um, or maybe even earlier, actually. You know what? They might do it earlier. Um, I would probably be there at 5 in the morning, maybe. What do you think? Is that is that too late? Uh, it might be too late. Uh, are you going to all the parks on your trip? No question about it. Oh, the lavender. I have to try that tea. It's on my must-do list. It's really good. Hey, May 10th is birthday here as well. No way. Bryson, hey, going home to Disney World to celebrate. Have fun. Enjoy. Happy early birthday. Do you know if you go to the UK Pavilion, there's a, dock, a door for cast members, but if it has glass in it, and if you look through, you can see Christopher Robin's room. Used to be a meet and greet there. Maybe... I have not seen this, Quentin. I have to look this up. Thanks for letting me know. Since you live near the D.C. area, have you ever been to King's Dominion or Busch Gardens in Williamsburg? I've been to both. Uh, haven't been recently. <laughs> um, all right. I don't like to bash other theme parks. I don't like to do that. That's that's not fair. Nothing will ever compare to Disney uh, to me, as you know. Uh, I'm not going to get too specific, but Disney prides themselves on customer service and cleanliness. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> not saying they're bad. They're good. They're so good. Definitely check them out. Not my favorite. Yeah, that's just... I like Hershey Park. Have you been to Hershey Park? And it's That's near me. That one's good. That I love I love Hershey Park. Uh, Lavender Tea is on Amazon. I did see that, but the shipping was outrageous, so I didn't get it. Uh, seen Christopher Robin's Room. I have to look for Christopher Robin's Room. I haven't seen it. I like the English Breakfast Tea. That's a good one, too. Um... There are, there are so many things to love. There are so many things to love about all the theme parks all over the world. No question about it. I just have, I'm, I'm totally biased. I am totally biased to Disney, 100%. Um, I have been to Six Flags near me. I've been to King's Dominion, Busch Gardens, Hershey Park. None of them will compare. But if you're in this area and you're looking for like a super good theme park, I recommend Hershey Park over the, um, over the others personally. But they're all good. Uh, you are right. Disney is a master of theme parks. No question. What may motivates you to eat health? Healthy before a Disney trip. Speaking of which, I have to lose more weight again because I have I've been doing that back and forth. This is TMI, but it's just uh, you know how it is. You probably know how it is. I've been going back and forth on that. I have to work on it. Um, I am inspired because I look at pictures of food, <laughs> of Disney food, and I say to myself, okay, I'm only allowed to eat that Dole Whip if I eat healthy when I'm home. So that that's my motivation. Good question. Do you think they'll do a nighttime show at Toy Story Land? I hope so, but I highly doubt it. I don't know. I just. I feel like they're going to save it for Star Wars uh, Galaxy's Edge. I feel like that's what we're waiting for. Um, I'm, I'm currently planning a Hershey Park trip for next year. It's a great park. It really is. Can't compare it to Disney, but it's a great park. Uh, you can get from Twining's website. Just check. Oh, all right. So there you go. There you go. That, that's where you get them. Other than the Night Blossom or Dole Whip, what is your favorite snack? That is a super good question, Quentin, and a video is already made for that. That's. I already have a video all about that. comes out... Uh, probably, I don't think it's tomorrow's video. Is it tomorrow's video? I can't remember. It, it's one of the next two. So it's, uh, it's coming out. Michael, you should try Bush Gardens again. They have really stepped it up. Again, that, that, you know, uh, coffee chat chick, I have not been since I was 10, 10 years old. So you're right. I've got to try it. I bet they look, they took Disney, uh, training. They, they now call employees cast members. You know what? Maybe I should try it again. And maybe I should vlog it too. That would be I don't know. Do you think, I feel like I'm cheating on, is this, you tell me. All right, this is the super, okay, this is a good last, this is a question to, to leave on. Is going to other theme parks cheating on Disney? I, you let me know what you think. I don't think so, but I can understand how people say they have this feeling of like, I, I shouldn't, like, I shouldn't be here. 
<laughs> um, so, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it's cheating. It's just you, you have to remember, you know, I'm an annual pass holder, so I'm not going to, like, give up my annual pass to be, like, an annual pass holder at a different park. You know what I mean? So I feel like it's okay. You let me know what you think. Uh, we'll, we'll go over that. Renee says yes. Uh, do you have a hidden Mickey book? Yes, I do. I have a hidden Mickey book uh, somewhere. It's that yellow one, like the half book. It's really good. We're going to Disney Fantasy in 300 days. Have fun. Have you ever been on the on all the Disney cruise ships? Which is your favorite? I've only been on the uh, Wonder and the Dream, both of which were fantastic. I want to go on the Fantasy, though. Yes. Uh, blah, uh, you want a Bish Gardens trip. <laughs> oh, well, I'll figure, figure that one out. Um, I'm saving my money for Disney. Exactly how I feel, Candace. That's usually how I feel about all this. I'm saving my money for Disney. The $100, whatever it is that I spend on another park, is something I'd rather spend at Disney. I say because I'm at the gym trying to to so much cardio so I get my body used to walking long miles. Good thought. Um, I don't want to waste my money anywhere either. There, I don't. It's not a waste if you have fun, but yeah, I can see that. Um, I don't think that it's cheating on Disney, but I do think that if you start comparing, you're going to be disappointed. Exactly, right. So you should go enjoy it and then go back to Disney. You know what I mean? Like you can't, you can't compare them. You can't. If you do, it's just, it just doesn't lead to well, good things. Uh, yes, vlog other parks would be interesting. I only feel like it's cheating at Universal. <laughs> All right, we'll bring that one into the equation. H how do you feel about the Universal conversation? Well, let's you know, be, um, Bush Gardens, Kings Mini. Okay, but but uh, what about Universal? Uh, if you're a Disney stockholder, right. So only if you're a Disney stockholder. Now to your channel, uh, just binge watched all your Disney cruise vlog videos. Thanks for sharing. Great channel. Thank you, Jason. I'm so glad you enjoy it. Uh, I usually forget to take my magic band when I go, take off my magic band when I go to Universal. I do get a few comments about it. Wait, 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 wait. This is a good, Bobby, I want to talk about this one. Have you ever forgotten your, like left your magic band on when you go to Universal or another theme park? And what have people said? Let me know. That's funny. That's good. I like that. Bush Gardens has a fun card. It's the same price as a one-day ticket, but you get unlimited admission. Hmm. Interesting. Um, fun, fun, fun. It's not cheating. They're right. You have to enjoy life. That's, that's part of enjoy height. Oh, you want a costume hint. Um, uh, costume hint, costume hint, costume hint. Uh, I can't think of one. Um, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Um, I have Sharpies that I have right here, which I used for thinking. Uh, I'm going to hold up two Sharpies and it's going to be a hint. Very vague hint. There you go. There's two Sharpies I'm holding up. Very vague hint. Um, I've lived in Orlando, I've lived in Orlando for 21 years and I've never been to any of the, any other theme parks, any, oh, any of its theme parks. I highly recommend it. E-Man, Universal has way too many Scream rides. Well, that's, that's true. If you, if you're a fan of, um, Scream rides, then maybe Universal's right for you. Universal has some nice rides, but there isn't the same magic exactly. And that, that's what, that's the difference. Uh, Six Flags, Fast Pass are super cheap and I live across the street from one. I go all the time. I lose my Disney though. I... I lost my Disney? I lose my Disney. Okay. Oh, I love my Disney. Sorry. Sorry. My, this is in the way. Um, I've never been to, in a mean way, I don't mean this in a mean way, but the employees call me a traitor. <laughs> That's funny. I understand. David, I uh, have a lot of, a lot more attachment to Disney rather than Universal. I don't have uh, as much connection to the movies or anything at Universal. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, good thoughts, good thoughts, all sorts of good thoughts. I'm gonna just leave you with that hint, and this is a good point to to call it a day. I'm, yeah, I know it. It's not cheating if you wear a Mickey shirt at other theme parks. They're Vicky, perfect, perfect. You wear a Disney shirt at another theme park, you're in good shape. I love it. That's that's it. That's that's it. <laughs> that's good. Personally, when I talk about comparing theme parks, just remember it's all about the attractions, right? It's, and I'm not comparing them. You just gotta enjoy what you like. I have to go and make dinner now. Go do your thing. Go enjoy it. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me today. I'm so glad I had some time. This was a fun one. I'm so glad we can share these Saturdays together. It means so much that you spent some time with me. And there's so many fun memories to be made in the future. We have 68 days. How many days left for you? And as I read your, your days to go, if it's 68 with me, maybe you're, you're the same countdown with me. We're going to go on a virtual adventure together. That's great. If you have your own countdown, that's great too. I want to hear about it. We also have another countdown, which I have to look up. I have a double countdown. I have uh, one for 68 and one for 140. So there's a double countdown for us. Do you participate in Dapper Day? Yes, I do. Not not at Disney World yet, but I have in the past. Um, thank you again. It means a great deal. What are your countdowns as you go? Thank you again. Awesome video. I appreciate it. It means so much that you spend some time with me. It really does. It, you are 
Hero from Big Hero 6. Good thought, too. Have a magical weekend, everyone. Thank you. 18 days for Samantha. We're getting there. It's uh, so many things to experience. Absolutely. 46 days for Alexis. Have fun, Alexis. I know you're going to enjoy it. Um, countdown. I, I'm on the 15th. Same countdown as you. Have fun. Thank you, Michael Disney family. Oh, don't worry, Kim. You're going with us. If you don't have a countdown, you're going with us. It's a virtual adventure. 89 days, 65 for Jennifer. Memorial Day weekend for your birthday, Infinity. Have fun. Thanks for all your hard work and your videos. Amber, I really appreciate it. It means a great deal. Thank you so much, uh, Anime Palooza. First stream. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me. Jennifer, one, uh, 155, 37 for Ge Jelly Bean. J Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean. I like the good name. Tough one. Uh, 155 for Nathan. 118 for Quentin. Uh, tomorrow, creative soul, have fun. If you're there right now, if you're going tomorrow, going this week, enjoy it. Have a great, great time. 120 days, 31 for Nancy. Saturday, and enjoy every moment of it. Thank you so much, everyone. Have an absolutely magical day. I'll see you real soon.